Hey pilots, welcome to a Harrier video. We're going to be doing the Mavericks today. We're going to be doing two different examples. The first example is going to be the Harrier with a T-Pod taking out one target just to show you exactly how to do it. And then on the second example, we're going to be taking out four separate targets with four Mavericks in one pass. So there's a lot of muscle memory, but with some practice, you'll get this down and you'll be able to do it and become effective out there on the battlefield. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, welcome everybody to the Harrier. We're on the Persian Gulf, and we're going to go take out a Scud launcher at waypoint one. And in this example, we're going to use the T-Pod with one Maverick in one pass. Now, on the next example, we're going to do four Mavericks in one pass, and we're going to show you exactly how to do that. It's a fairly simple procedure, and let's go ahead and get right into it. So, Master Arm armed, and air to ground mode. Now, on the left here on the EAHSD, sometimes it's kind of hard to read the text. You can actually decrease the gain. And the text becomes a lot easier to read. You can also click on Map M and then the Color button here if you wish to change the color. We'll leave it on green for now. On the right, MPCD. We'll go ahead and change to T-Pod. Click Standby. We'll click Designate on the left MPCD to go ahead and slew everything on over. You can see the targeting pod is now looking at waypoint 1. Sensor select down twice. To make teapot our soy sensor select left to expand fov and we'll go ahead and zoom in here now sensor select right long changes to ir mode this is white hot if you do sensor select right short it goes to black hot we'll change it back to white hot for now okay so now we need to hit the tdc down or action position button to put this into T-Pod Designate. You can see it says T-Pod Designate on the bottom right of the T-Pod. We'll go ahead and click IRMV up here. The fuse is on delay one, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and turn off the autopilot and start a dive down onto our target here. You can usually get a target lock about 11 miles out with the Maverick, depending on your altitude. So we're diving now. The next thing we need to do is press the uncage switch, uncage, and you can see the T-Pod disappears and the Maverick seeker head becomes active. I'll go ahead and select sensor select forward short to change it to IRMV, expand FOV. There's our target. It's locked. We're eight miles out. Rifle. And we'll go ahead and turn off to the right here just in case there's any air defenses or what have you. The Harrier is all about muscle memory. So just remember, you're going to go to uncage, sensor select forward because it needs to be in IRMV mode. It starts out in INS mode. That is not what you want. So sensor select forward and you can expand the FOV if you wish. I usually always do. Get that uh, lock on the target, rifle the missile, come off and come back around. All right, so welcome back to the Harrier. We're going to be going to waypoint one with four Mavericks and do this in one pass. This is going to be using the TOO mode. If you haven't seen my JDAM video on TOO, make sure you click on the top right. That'll take you over there for JDAMs. Let's go ahead and get started here. So master arm, arm, air to ground mode. I'm going to bring down the gain a little bit here on the left just so I can see the EHSD a little bit better. T-Pod comes up to the right. We'll go ahead and click designate to slew everything on over to waypoint one. And everything on the Harrier is muscle memory. There's a lot of muscle memory for the Harrier. So sensor select down twice to go to T-Pod mode. Sensor select left short to expand. Sensor select right long to IR mode. We'll zoom in here. And again, this is when I'm going to press TDC down action position to go to T-Pod designate. So you can see that on the bottom right. So next, we're going to make our mark points. Well, not our mark points, but we're going to make our target points with the TOO mode. So we're in T-Pod Designate, which is good. We'll click TOO. There's one. Enter. Let's go ahead and find our next target. There he is. TOO. Enter. That's target two. There's target three. I'm just skipping every one of these just so I can show you. And TOO. Enter. Number four. So... Now we're going to click IRMV. Things are going to get a little busy here. We're on delay one for the fuse. 
We'll get a T1 for our physician. Our waypoint, because that's our first target that we went after, or our, that we made, rather. Turn off the autopilot here. And we'll start a dive. And I suggest turning on the AFC for the autopilot for attitude hold when you're going down with this, because once you fire a rifle or a Maverick, the plane's going to rock. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on AFC again. So we're on T1. We'll go to uncage. Sensor select forward short. It's an IRMV. Expand FOV. There's our first target. Rifle. Now, waypoint increment button. It goes to T2. Uncage. Sensor select forward. Rifle. Waypoint increment. Uncage. Sensor select forward. Rifle. Waypoint increment. Uncage. Sensor select forward. And sometimes it does this where it doesn't do it. So all you have to do is uncage. Uncage again. And sensor select forward. Boom. So sometimes it gets stuck. We'll turn off the autopilot. Turn around. So that was an example of where it didn't work correctly, but all we did was, you know, cage the seeker head, uncaged, sensor select forward to put it back in IRMV, lock it back up, and rifle again. And there we go. We got three shacks. And four. So most important buttons to have bound is waypoint increment, uncage, expand, FOV, and your sensor select buttons. So always make sure when you uncage, sensor select forward short to make sure you're in IRMV. That's the main thing here is to make sure you're in IRMV or else it's not going to work correctly. So appreciate everybody watching. If you have any suggestions or content you want, make sure you put it in the comment section below. I also stream on Twitch. Make sure you check me out, tricky underscore tricker. And uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe. I'm terrible at self-promotion, but I'm trying to do it. So anyway, again, thank you, everybody. Hope you have a good day and uh, happy hunting.